I feel like I just want to start this and end this video <laughs> as soon as possible. <sighs> Where to start? Hard to get the words out. Hazel's father and I have broken up. We broke up probably just over a month ago. I'm not going to go too much into the reason why i'll go into it a little but i wanted to update you guys and kind of take you along for the journey there's a lot of unknown factors right now and yeah i don't want to just keep making like happy videos acting like nothing's wrong i want to be real with you guys and take you like there's going to be so many life changes happening right now so i kind of want to just be able to be open about what's happening for the most part instead of trying to like live two separate worlds but yeah, we did break up about a month ago, a little bit more. Okay, I said it. Got the, got the hard part out of the way, right? I hope. Why did we break up? Eh, it's an eh. Um, without going too much into it, we, me, me, was not happy with something that had happened in the past. Again, not going into it. And that something is something I thought could be changed or stopped and basically it wasn't so it doesn't really matter what it is i think in relationships like there's always going to be something bothering you or something maybe that you're not okay with with the other person and you have to learn your limits like okay what am i okay with what am i not okay with why don't we always turn this into like a whole like inspirational like you gotta do this that i just need to stop telling people what and just talk okay we didn't have a perfect relationship nobody does i mean i don't know maybe some people do like, there was definitely things that were you know we had our day-to-day -day. i'm not super mom and i'm not super clean and organized and like boom 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 so there's that about me i don't know i'm sure i have a lot of other flaws too i'm not claiming to be perfect neither of us are perfect nobody's perfect but at the end of the day i just wasn't willing to accept some things that were happening and yeah i guess i was saying is in a relationship like you have to be like oh i love this person am i willing to accept this 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 what you are and what you aren't and it came down to me saying hey like i'm not okay with this and i just don't feel like i can be in this relationship anymore we still respect each other and love each other the point is we broke up and now i'm a single mom he's still helping we still both want to be actively in hazel's life so we're still like figuring that out how it's gonna work we're trying not to go to court we don't want to go to court so we're trying to like work out you know obviously i take care of hazel for most of the time because i still breastfeed and just the way the cookie crumbles but i still want him to see her and his family to have a relationship with her so it's definitely so much more complicated in ways than like just a normal relationship breakup without having any kids because i feel like normally when you have a breakup you can just go like do your thing or try to move on as you can see it's a little challenging to film a serious video with an active baby that just wants to play it's hard this whole thing is really hard it is but we're doing the best for you i feel like i finally get like people always will say like a divorce is the hardest thing of their life or like the worst thing they've ever been through and i we're not getting divorced because we were never married but now i feel like i definitely have more of an understanding of like it's really hard thinking that you were going to spend the rest of your life with someone and having a kid with them and just having to accept that everything you thought or ev everything your life was is not going to be anymore obviously i still have hazel and i'm going to be her mom and that's the most important thing. It's a lot. And there's a lot of people. There's families involved. Like, it's a lot. We live together. It's a lot to handle emotionally and just detail-wise. Like, there's the emotional aspect of going through, like, a heartbreak. And then there's the fact that we have, we live together. We have a baby together. And, yeah, it's hard. I don't know. I want just you guys to know what I'm going through somewhat so hopefully one day i'll be able to inspire other people when i get past this but a little update our lease ends in a month so we're just gonna be moving out and i don't know where hazel and i will be going we're gonna be kind of going our separate ways but staying close enough so we'll still be able to see hazel and stuff but yeah i feel like it's scary and it probably 
would have been easier just to stay in the relationship because you know i relied on him for most of the income he works nine to five and i take care of hazel for the most part i put in some of the money for Ren, and, but he definitely pays a lot more because he's working full time. So now it's like, okay, I'm on my own. So basically I'm becoming or have become a single mom and it's scary. Like it's so scary and hard and sometimes lonely. It's only been a month and I feel like I've felt just such a range of emotions. Sometimes it's like, you know, What's the word? Liberate? Not liberating, but you can feel like, I guess, liberating in ways. Because it's like, okay, wow, I'm really doing this. I'm moving out in a month and I have no idea where I'll be living. Maybe with family, maybe Airbnb. I'm not gonna try to like sign a lease anywhere right now because I just, there's so many unknown factors. But I feel like, yeah, I'm going through a major life change, a major struggle. And I want to just share it with you guys because honestly, I just also feel like you guys are my friends and I want, sometimes I just got to vent. It's like, I have a lot more off time, you know, losing a partner and you kind of used to telling someone all these things. So I feel like I've just been reaching out to like my friends and family a lot more like and having them FaceTime with me when I'm upset. So there's not really a specific thing to say but it's hard. Like obviously having Hazel is challenging and being a mom is hard, but it's like a good hard. And this is like just hard, hard. And it's just, it's painful, it hurts. And I think in the long run, I'm gonna come out of this stronger and I'm gonna come out happier and it will be the right thing for me. But right now, I mean, I already feel so much better than I did like in the very beginning like a month ago. Mentally, I feel a lot better, but now it's, I wasn't thinking about the logistics of things. Like, where am I gonna live? This, that. I was like, you know what? I can, everyone in my family kept asking me that. And I was like, hey, I can't think about that right now. I'm trying to like accept that I'm ha going through a heartbreak and just let myself deal with that. So I've given myself a good month to do that. I went away with my family. I don't have a, necessarily a plan right now. I know. I love my baby Hazel, like even though things <laughs> things with her dad didn't work out. I'm still so thankful and blessed to have her. Like I feel like before I had her, like the thought of being like a single mom at 25 would be the most terrifying thing. And it is, it is pretty terrifying. But I'm also really happy to have her. Like. It is scary, but I'm so happy. I wouldn't trade being her mom for anything. She is my whole world and she's my happiness. I always say like, we're gonna get through this and home is whenever she's in my arms. That's home. We don't have everything figured out right now. But she is my home. She is my world. She is my motivation. She's my light. She, I tell her this every day. So I know that we're gonna get through this. I know that I'm gonna get through this because I have, I have Hazel, I have my baby that motivates me so much. And there's just nothing I wouldn't do for her. And I'm so happy that I have her. She's my best friend. She's just my world. She's my whole world. I will do whatever it takes for Hazel to be happy and Hazel to be safe and taken care of. No matter what, that's not gonna change. And she has two parents that love her very much and want the best for her. I'm going to be okay in the long run. Right now, it's hard, it's scary. I'm gonna be on my own with the baby. I'm still gonna get help and from him he'll come by and we'll come up with maybe a schedule or something but it's a lot of pressure it's a lot of pressure to go from kind of working part-time and being full-time mom to now still being a full-time mom and having to kind of work full-time as well or be able to provide a lot more <laughs> And I don't want to like have to spend less time with her. So I think I just need to like work really hard and budget well. And I don't know. 
I don't know. There's a lot of I don't knows. There's a lot of I knows. But I'm trusting the universe. I feel like the universe is gonna guide me in ways. See, some moments I feel so uplifted and then sometimes like it's just awful. Like in the beginning, I literally, oh, it was so hard. It just literally felt like I was dying inside. I know that sounds so dramatic, but it really did. It was just awful. And there's still a lot of moments where it's like that, where it's just, it's really hard. It's really hard. But I know that one day it won't be really hard. Like one day things are going to be okay. And I'm going to be kind of back into swing of things and have things figured out. And I'll look back at this time and be like, remember? Remember that time? We made it through that time. And we didn't know if we could. That's going to be one day. So right now I'm in the time. I'll get through it. It's getting better. There's so many unknowns. That's basically the gist of things. And also, I'm not trying to have any negative energy towards Hazel's dad. I don't want any of you guys to, you know, please don't say anything to him and just leave him out of this. This is more of just an update for you guys and me wanting to connect with you guys on my personal life because so much of my channel has been about my personal life and hazel and parenting and birth you guys saw me give birth so yeah it's all part of the journey and i don't want to hide this from you guys for so long because i want to be able to just share my day or update what i'm doing i'm gonna be moving out soon but yeah we're gonna try to do our best to make this still work at the end of the day hazel is both of our number one priorities and being there for her and you know we're gonna do what it takes and i would never want to take hazel's dad away from her just because things with me and him didn't work out like if she has a father who's wants and is willing to love and be in her life that's a beautiful thing and i would never try to take that away from her but it's just a matter of figuring things out and you know obviously there's gonna be bumps on the road where who gets her when and things like that so there's a lot to figure out and still going through heartbreak you know obviously there's still feelings there they just don't go away overnight so it makes it more complicated a lot of emotions I needed a vacation for my emotion. So I'm just, yeah, need to focus now on kind of getting things in track and getting things situated. Before I was just kind of giving myself time to heal and I gave myself a good month to heal. I wasn't really working too much. That's why I kind of took a break from everything. I wasn't on YouTube for like a month and a half. I just needed time to process everything. I wanted to share this with you guys and Maybe other people are going through it. Anyways, I love you all so much. And thank you for listening. Those of you who have sat through this whole thing. And listened to my eeks moments. This is a journey. It's an unknown journey. And you guys are now along for the ride. I love you all. And thank you for always just being here. And letting me be real and be myself. I don't know what's going to come. I don't know what is going to be happening in my future. But I want to keep updating you guys. So as much as this is supposed to be a dramatic and sad video, Hazel still means to keep a smile on everyone's faces, I'm sure. But I love you all. I'm gonna keep you updated. Maybe there'll be some tears in the future, maybe not. Tears have been shed. Hopefully positive things to come. Hopefully things are gonna be figured out. We'll figure out where we're gonna live. I'm just trying to stay optimistic. And I do know things will work out and I'm just trying to be my best here. I feel like I don't have any other choice. Like, I need to be the best. I need to provide for Hazel. At this point, failure just doesn't really feel like an option. My number one priority is always making sure my little baby has the best. Oh, and she's crawling, by the way, update. It's not the most graceful crawl, but it's a crawl. I love you guys. Thank you for listening.